Hello there, my Scorpio collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. Someone wants you kind of stuck in your feelings, stuck in your emotions. Um, this is like you just out there treading water in your feelings and not really uh, focusing on what you need to. So I almost feel like you're getting this sort of helping vibe that teaches you to be far more grounded and focused, not letting your emotions overwhelm you. Tell me with regard to those relationships or partnerships. So, yeah, you need to make sure that you're grounded and focused. No unnecessary risks as well when it comes to you. So, damn. Don't let your feelings overwhelm you. Be mindful of those relationships or partnerships where you're basically just treading water. So there's all that love, but you can't really grow, build, or focus on anything. So you avoid the swamp energy. So, damn. There, well, there you are, Scorpio. Over that is the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you are dealing with relationships or partnerships, but someone really isn't kind of uh, uh, really helping you out or helping you along here. Someone is far more focused on themselves uh, instead of a, a work opportunity or a relationship or partnership with you. Oh my goodness, Scorpios. So hopefully you guys are compartmentalizing your life as well. Some of you could be dealing with relationships or partnerships that really aren't going to be beneficial to you. There's the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, way too much indecision here. So some of y'all, it's time you make that choice. So you could, some of you way too overly complicated relationships or partnerships because it's all emotion based. So this is someone that keeps telling you that they love you, but you can't like agree on anything. So it's far more of an emotional connection than what it is a grounded and focused connection, which how are you going to grow or really allow that uh, relationship or partnership to be of any sort of uh, good use to you. So, damn. If it's messy love, it's because there is no sort of uh, common energy here. Who keeps you or who wants you sort of stuck out there just treading all up in your feelings instead of uh, uh, sort of sending that guidance energy in with you? So, trust issues much, uh, Scorpios? Some of y'all be mindful of that energy. So, damn, work, love, life. Uh, there you go. There's the Five of Wands. There's the Tower Vibes. There's the Six of Cups. There's the King of Swords. Where the hell is your voice of reason at? So, whatever you're going through, focus on, like, smart sort of decision making here. Some of y'all, those relationships or partnerships, they don't really go nowhere. It's everybody loves everybody, but you can't like build or create anything tangible. So it's all like emotional sort of uh, connections instead of actual working relationships or partnerships. Some of you are dealing with somebody who doesn't put forth. They definitely take far more than what they give and they are very fucking stingy. But the longer they can keep you sort of stuck or stagnant all up in your feelings... You need to trust something here. Damn Scorpios. Take what's yours and leave what's not. So nine of cups. There's the nine. Yeah, someone is keeping you from like wish fulfillment. So that isn't a loving relationship or partnership. Some of you, it's it's. there's no growth there, but there's a lot of feelings. Empress energy. Oh. So sweet Jesus. So, damn. Some of y'all, that's a shit relationship or partnership. Some of you are dealing with somebody who is way too stingy. They kind of uh, don't allow the growth with you because they're controlling, they're controlling the emotional side of the relationship or partnership. Oh my God, it's like all that love. There's all, there's all that love, but you can't like build or create anything from it. But everyone's like all up in their feelings. Mm. So you need to make some smarter fucking choices here with regard to those relationships or partnerships. Fuck the sentimentality on something as well. Some of you could be trying to overcome something that really you you don't. 
you need to stay more grounded and focused. Do watch your favorite astrologer. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Piscean energy, or that's just the energy of the relationship or partnership. There's a lot of feelings, but there's really no growth. Some of y'all, there's more fussing and fighting than what there is like emotional connection. But everyone says, I love you. Yeah. Mm. Ass in sand, drink in hand. So, damn. How many of you are stuck in those relationships or partnerships? Some of you, that partnership or that relationship isn't going to be what brings you happiness. Some of y'all, that's like more of an anchor weight. Especially if you're not with a partner that kind of supports or promotes you. Some of y'all, this is indecision when it comes to relationships or partnerships as well. So those of you Scorpios, if you're fucking around with anyone that tells you it's complicated, be mindful of that energy. Eight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, there's the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's the Seven of Cups with the Magician energy. The Chariot vibes, the Star vibes, look at this. Boy, astrologically. The energy with you, Scorpios, is, is kind of in that sort of eye of the hurricane energy. So some of y'all, don't, don't let those relationships or partnerships overwhelm you. Especially if it's a relationship or partnership that really your partner isn't all that uh, trustworthy of an energy. So Scorpios, I almost feel like that's your vibes. And then you got all this sort of secondary energy with you. Do watch your favorite astrologer, uh, Scorpios, because some of y'all could have some sort of interesting trying energy. Where some of y'all could stay stuck in your feelings, stuck in your emotions. Some of y'all, that relationship or partnership, there's all that love, but y'all ain't going nowhere because nothing really comes of it. Some of you getting out of those indecisive relationships or partnerships. Someone wants to control the dynamic with this uh, relationship or partnership with you. And some of y'all just out there treading water, not even paying any attention. Don't think that relationship or partnership is going to be the thing that makes everything better as well. So there's almost some enlightenment that needs to happen when it comes to you. Especially moving forward. So some of y'all could have been stuck in a relationship or partnership that really isn't going nowhere. Someone is definitely very stingy. They take far more than what they give. It doesn't really allow a, a very good working relationship or partnership. Someone wants to control the dynamics. Some of y'all be mindful of who you're sharing your dreams and goals with. Because, damn, someone might not like that energy. The fact you have optimism is what makes the difference. So those of you who are optimistic, uh, kind of avoid that stuck stagnant energy. So, someone is happier when you're in this energy than what they are when you're in this energy. And someone definitely doesn't share your same sort of dreams or goals this is just one of those relationships where there's so much love. Everybody love, 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 love. But you can't build, grow, create anything that's like tangible. So everyone's all up in the fields, but no one's really uh, working to build or grow anything. So I don't know if you're coming out of this type of relationship or partnership. Some of y'all could definitely be stuck in that relationship or partnership. Water sign energy is definitely very interesting. But, damn. Some of y'all don't think that partnership is going to change everything. Because some of you, that partnership is actually going to slow you down. So, it's the Piscean energy. Someone wants you out there treading waters all up in your fields. So that way you're not focusing on yourself. So, do be mindful of who you share your fucking dreams and goals with here. Uh, now, Scorpios. Because this is the energy, Scorpio. Some of y'all are dealing with someone that doesn't, they kind of control that sort of energy when it comes to you. So you don't kind of get the growth that you need. This is relationships or partnerships of people who are very undecided. It's seven of cups energy. It's perfect the way it is. Why do you want to change it, Scorpio? Especially if someone has all that sort of emotional control. How long are you going to fucking tread water before you realize that relationship or partnership isn't really grounded or focused in anything? 
Work Love Life vibes with you with this Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles energy. So, damn. Some of y'all learning to compartmentalize your life. So, working relationships, interpersonal relationships, or partnerships. I can tell from this that your relationships are partnerships. There isn't a whole lot of happy love there. Or the only time someone is happy is when they can create that Seven of Cups illusion and confusion energy. Someone definitely knows they can kind of control you here with this sort of vibe. So if you're looking for that relationship or partnership, that's a relationship or partnership where they're going to focus on themselves before they focus on you. So in that relationship or partnership, they're really not a helpful energy. Eh, take what's yours and leave what's not here, Scorpios. I don't know. You can you can tread water as long as you like. But some of y'all, those relationships are partnerships. Y'all want two different things. So do be mindful of that. Some of y'all, that's really not that chaotic of a choice. It's some of you, it's it's what you're kind of allowing. Yeah, with that Three of Pentacles, this could be that sort of energy that you're in and indecisiveness when it comes to you. So you could have an interesting trine, especially if you've got a lot of water placements uh, in your charts there, uh, Scorpio. And that's going to be different for every fucking one of you. So take what's yours and leave what's not here, Scorpios. Don't think that relationship or partnership is going to, like, change everything. Some y'all, the relationship or partnership you think is going to bring you growth actually just keeps you rather stuck or stagnant. Especially if you're dealing with indecisive uh, relationships or partnerships. Some of y'all need to learn to trust the fucking stagnation on something. Sorry for all the cussing here, Scorpios, but some of you, it's like, where's the common sense at? So who has let you down before, and then you realize that they kind of like it when you're stuck in that energy? Someone definitely knows your value and worth here. They just don't want you to see it. So, work, love, life. Those of you, compartmentalize your life. Don't let your work life get all complicated either. Someone definitely takes far more than what they give. So, they're always going to be focused on themselves first and not really putting forth a whole lot of time, energy, and attention in that relationship or partnership. But Scorpio, they're going to expect you to, like, do all the work. So someone has higher expectations for you, but that partnership doesn't match the same sort of energy that they're kind of putting out. So some of y'all are dealing with fake-ass emperors or empresses. So it works as long as you're doing all the work and they kind of get the benefits from. Some of you, astrologically, I think you're kind of stuck in that. So there's like some interesting decisions you need to make. We got Cancer energy. You got Aquarius. There's Pisces. Of course, the Sun. Any. There's Aries energy. Empress energy. There you are, Scorpio. Oh, Lord have mercy. So some of you know now's not the time for their relationship or partnership. What if you're going through something on a spiritual level? Sweet Jesus. Focus on what's more important to you. Yeah. Get out of your feels. Someone wants you like treading water. Knight of Wands, there's the Five of Swords, there's the Leo vibes, there's the Hierophant energy, there's the Three of Wands, and there's the Aries energy. Oh, uh, do watch your favorite astrologer, because for fuck's sake, some of you astrologically, this could be uh, sort of the vibe that you're in. I don't think it's lack of opportunities with you, it's quality of, uh, but damn, that makes a difference. Leo, Aries, and there's the Hierophant. 
basis. There's the Empress energy. There you are, Scorpios. High Priestess energy. And there's the Four of Cups. Oh, Lord have mercy. So those of you trying to make a relationship or partnership work, that even you're not really feeling it. Damn. And there's the Three of Cups. Plenty of options, offers, and opportunities. This is like good dating vibes. So, damn for fuck's sake, Scorpios. Some of you should not be that complicated. So don't let your emotions overwhelm you right now. So that relationship where there's all those feelings, but you can't really work or grow or create anything within that. Some of you, if you're dealing with somebody that tells you what's complicated from the beginning... Uh, be mindful of that energy as well. Scorpio, this could be how you're coming across as well. So take what's yours, leave what's not. I do feel astrologically, some of you, this is kind of working on your behalf. Definitely expect a lot more clarity. But damn, some of y'all, the realities of it. That relationship or partnership really wasn't going to bring about growth. Or don't think that relationship or partnership is going to be what makes everything work as well. Because some of you are dealing with somebody that's far more focused on themselves. Work, love, life. Compartmentalize your life, uh, Scorpio. So that way you don't get in this messy sort of energy. I feel like retrograde kind of made you have to focus on this. Some of you are happily single. Some of you are getting single. Some of you are just making better decisions moving forward. So you're not all sort of stuck in your feelings on something. Some of y'all fake-ass emperor and empress energy. So some of y'all, the dynamics in that relationship or partnership aren't really balanced. So uh, take what's yours and leave what's not. Those of you that know that that's not your vibe, especially. So those of you that chose to stay single, those of you that chose to uh, definitely stay more grounded and focused, really, you, you made a smart choice there. Because some of y'all were just going to go on some uh, emotional relationship or partnership or someone was just going to leave you all stuck in your feelings while they kind of controlled the relationship or partnership. Eight of Wands, there's the Hermit, there's the Two of Pentacles, there's the Five of Pentacles. Those of you who paid attention during retrograde or paid attention, learning to overcome this energy. Keep telling y'all, Scorpios, drink in, sand, drink in hand, ass in sand energy with a lot of you. So you're going to have some interesting choices. Some of y'all have some interesting opportunities, but... More of a balanced type approach when it comes to you. Someone definitely wanted to take advantage of you. They wanted you or needed you all up in your emotions. So that way you didn't feel like uh, uh, there was almost some sort of solution with you. Some of you be mindful of those relationships that are just, there's all that love there. But you can't like accomplish the simplest of goals or tasks. So everyone's like all up in their feels, but there's no real like working sort of vibes when it comes to that relationship or partnership. Don't let yourself get to the point where that relationship or partnership gets to that point. So some of y'all focusing on codependency as well when it comes to this. It's not lack of opportunity. Some of you plenty of opportunities, but damn. Do you watch your favorite astrologer? Because some of you are still stuck in your fields. Others of you, uh-uh. You're, you're far more focused. Not every option or opportunity is going to be a positive one. So street smart and wise here. Nothing unnecessary, uh, Scorpios. So keep that energy in mind as well. So, Damn. This is almost like a life lesson. 
There's a lot of growth energy on this. So some of you, this is street smart and wise energy. So some of you could have been dealing with somebody that told you it was complicated. Some of y'all just disregarded that and got into that shit relationship or partnership. Others of you avoided that type of relationship or partnership. That really does make the difference with you. Some of y'all, you don't need to be treading water in those relationships or partnerships. With regard to those relationships or partnerships, what's the relationships or partnerships that have that equal sort of balanced energy as well? So a lot of you getting out of those stuck stagnant relationships or partnerships and focusing on far more uh, beneficial relationships or partnerships. Uh, work, love, life vibes on this. They have, for fuck's sake, uh, Scorpios. Some of you, there's way too much emotion energy on that. So some of y'all need to maybe switch things up. Focus on more tangible sort of uh, options, offers, opportunities. Uh, work, love, life vibes as well on this when it comes to you, Scorpios. If something gets that complicated, some of y'all be mindful of that energy going in. So that way you're not all stuck in your emotions. Damn Scorpios. You gotta be hard. You gotta be tough. You gotta be stronger. You gotta stay cool, you gotta stay calm, you gotta stay together. Oh. Someone wanted or needed you doing the most so they could benefit from it. But at the same time, they weren't really kind of focusing on you. So someone wanted you to do all the work. Someone wanted you to be the one that kind of paid for everything. Someone wanted to invest in you, but basically they were just taking advantage of you the whole time. I love the wands energy with you. So, damn Scorpios. Some of you, I think, astrologically, you kind of had to learn this lesson. But it brings about more of a balanced sort of vibe with you. So, take what's yours, leave what's not. Some of y'all fuck the overcomplicated energies. You need to be making more decisive choices here. Not letting your emotions overwhelm you. So, this is like tangible relationships or partnerships. Some of y'all, if this is work energy, definitely learning to compartmentalize your life when it comes to that as well. Some of y'all, fake-ass emperor-empress energy. Uh, who was just taking advantage of you. Especially if someone had you all up in your feels. So someone needed you to feel. But you weren't really going nowhere. You just out there like treading fucking water. So. Damn Scorpios. I feel like you bring this balance in. But whatever this sort of energy is with you, it kind of brings about some interesting growth. Some of y'all have some very interesting luck energy as well. So keep doing the work. Retrograde could definitely be very interesting with you. Some of you learning patience and learning to kind of remove your emotions uh, with regard to relationships or partnerships. And really looking at them from, is it a relationship or partnership you could grow from? Or is it just a stuck, stagnant uh, relationship or partnership? Whatever it is, nobody's fool. So keep that energy in mind, Scorpios. Lord, if you're going through something on a religious level... Damn Scorpios. 
there's a growth opportunity here. But it, it, it all comes down to you focusing on you. Definitely not letting your emotions overwhelm you. Some of y'all way too many messy relationships or partnerships. So you kind of had to learn to bring that balance in when it comes to those relationships or partnerships. This is actually a blessings energy. Uh, believe it or not. Scorpios. So interesting time for you. It's not that happily ever after. Some of y'all be mindful of that happily ever after. Because some of you, those relationships or partnerships can be far more uh, draining than what they are positive. Especially if you're dealing with indecisive energies when it comes to the emotional side of the relationship or partnership. So there's all that love, but you can't build, grow, or like focus on anything tangible. It's all stuck in the emotions. Damn, for fuck's sake, Scorpios. Uh, take what's yours, leave what's not here, Scorpios. King of Wands, Four of Swords, Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands. There's the Ten of Wands energy. Page of Swords, there to the world. There to the four of pentacles. You had to learn, but learn to focus on you. Someone needed you all up in your emotions, all up in your feels. So that way they could kind of take advantage of you. But some of you, this actually, whatever your sort of vibe is, whatever your sort of belief energy is here, helped you stay balanced or focused. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Father, Son, Holy Ghost energy. I don't know, whatever the hell this guidance energy is with you. That was what helped you stay grounded or focused. Not that relationship or partnership. Damn Scorpios. Uh, do watch your favorite astrologer. I feel like a, the astrology on this. And that's going to be different for all of you. If that's even your thing. If that's even your thing. Uh, definitely being very mindful. So no unnecessary risks. You're not doing anything that doesn't like make sense to you. Or does it make sense with regard to your decision making? Damn Scorpios. Someone is most definitely an opportunist. Someone was most definitely an opportunist. Wanting to take advantage of you here. Damn. Mm. Uh, good luck, God bless. Take what yours, leave what's not, Scorpios. Some of you, there's so much complexity to this that was just absolutely... That's how some of you could have stayed stuck or stagnant. The Emperor Empress energy here. Uh, the Four of Cups there with the Three of Cups. A lot of offers, options, opportunities. Those of you, uh, if someone tells you it's complicated, that is the last relationship or partnership you should be focusing on. There's a lot of clarity coming in with you on this, Scorpios, as well. Which really makes the difference with you. So there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of expectations. And those of you that focused on what was important, it made all the difference with you. 
if you're going through something on a religious level here, this is that sort of uh, let go, let God, trust your instincts, your intuition on something. I feel like you are, you're happily single or you're able to make smarter choices moving forward with regard to relationships or partnerships. So some of you got out of those stuck, stagnant ones uh, that weren't really going anywhere and learned to find focus. There's happiness here. I just don't feel like it's happiness with regard to a particular relationship or partnership. Not quite yet. Six of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Oh, retrograde, really good for you. <laughs> Some of y'all interesting choices with relationships or partnerships, though. So, damn. Focus on the codependency. Some of you definitely brings out better opportunities, but you had to, you kind of had to learn to grow. You had to learn to grow and expect equal reciprocity. So some of you are going to have a lot of interesting choices. But what's like the, the one that brings about like the best sort of equal vibes? So street smart and wise, if this is religious with you, it's far more grounded and focused. If this is astrological with you, this brings about like better sort of vibes with you. There's a balancing out that's coming in, but damn. You bring that balance. Peace, love, and light. Like, share, subscribe. Way too fucking complicated, though. So don't let this be like that complicated. Stay grounded and focused. Good luck, God bless. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Peace, love, and light. Like, share, subscribe.